What's up everyone welcome back to another Warframe video this one is gonna be about Titania so let's go check out Titania and sorry for the stuff in the background I, I can't make it quieter I don't know that that's the quietest I can make it I don't know if you guys can hear it but anyways let's get it with Titania Ooh, Titania looks nice already I like all the butter the butterflies look nice too and then she got the oh all right so titania prime has arrived uh play tricks on your enemies before decimating them as a terrifying temp temptress titania prime the mischievous pixie arrives with the pen oh the pangolin prime and the corinth prime Ooh. I'm about to have some fun with the Corinth Prime. Um, Titania, this is Titania in her ultimate form. Titania looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Um, Corinth heavy in the hand with a bone crushing kickback. Shotgun has two fire modes buckshot and grenade projectile to Corinth. Uh, we know what the Corinth is. And next, uh, honoring the first Tenno class there. So, as a beauty, I'm not gonna lie. That pangolin looks nice too. I might try to get that. I might try to farm for that. I don't know. I haven't really tried to go ahead and farm for a weapon. I just go for the really good weapons. I haven't farmed for ones I liked. I did. I do like a few. But. I don't know. Uh, you can find Titania Prime, Corn Prime, and Pangolin Prime relics and their classic spots, the Void, Derelict, Defense, Survival, etc. with the additional uh, Railjack missions. So what I like, that's the reason why I like about Railjack missions. You have a chance to get that. So that's kind of why I play Railjack missions. You get relics from that. So what I would be on it, like if I was being for real, I'd say play Railjack because that's probably the quickest you could you could do to get the relics. But at the same time, it's 50-50 where you could get the relics or you get something else. But yeah, uh, check your in-game codex for relic drop locations. Once Operation Scarlet Spear is live on PS4, that's the thing we're talking about, guys. Uh, the relic rewards for them the ground assault and murex raid missions will be replaced by these new relics visit the operation scarlet spear 27.3.0 status thread to get uh on what's to come on ps4 we're gonna check that out later for the gil gigalorum prime Sidona. i'm sorry if i butchered that please be aware we are working a second bonus version of this that is better optimized for titania prime states changes designs this means anyone who purchased the accessories razor wing bundle will receive a bonus modified gigalorum prime sidana stay tuned for images more details all right so check out the newest prime gear with titania for full regional we got it today april 1st for Europe, Oceania, Africa, and Asia, and next April 2nd for Japan. Um, unfortunately, there has been an unforeseen issue with releasing on PlayStation 4. However, Limbo Prime Prime. So, Limbo, the Piranha Prime, and the Dutch Treasure. The Piranha Prime is really good. And same with Limbo Prime. So if you guys missed that, I don't know what to tell you all. Um, vaulting. Replace Dual Meridian Sacrifice of this Treasure Prime handle with the Redeemer Prime handle. If you already wield the power of these primes or have the relics in your inventory, they will remain after the vault. Usual Riven Disposition changes that come with each of the new round of Prime Axes being held back into a console has been caught up today with Operation Scarlet Spear and then the Gigalore 
Prime Saladana had been added to Titania Prime Access on PC. Con consoles, I want to say consoles. Consoles can expect uh, this second bonus Saladana added to their Prime Accessories pack as part of the Operation Scarlet Spear 27.3.0. Those who are purchased a Titania Prime Accessories pack before the Gigalore Prime Saladana is available on the platform will have the bonus Saladana added to their account retro that word <laughs> follow the coming update status thread here next there's a quote Tatiana has history of clipping with the Saladana's due to her wingspan features and when designing her Gigalore alright I'm doing this too long uh, sorry. so this is what the Gigalore looks like Alright, I like the side Donna. Not too bad, but it's alright to me. I know I just said it looks nice. So it's either this one or that one. For Titanium Prime, honestly, I'd probably go with this one. Because she already has the skirt. Right there. Oh, she doesn't have the skirt. She has the stuff on the back. Adding this is like kind of too much so this is probably better to be honest with the wings and I guess is that an arch wing part cuz it looks like it I'm not sure and it didn't say anything about arc wing but alright so titanium practice prime axis is also here so Where's Titania Prime? Uh, all right there. So, Titania sprint speed is one, shield is a hundred, her health is one twenty-five, energy one seventy-five, armor one twenty-five. Abilities are still all the same. Same thing with passive. Goes here, here. So abilities are the same like usual with every prime. I think they changed one of them. I think it was this one. Or a spell blind. Like they fixed it up. Uh what do we want So let's see the regular titania compared to the prime Q R S T I so hold up let me go see alright so her shields are the same sprint speed, sprint speed are the same the only difference is health energy and armor armor is 125 same thing with health and energy is 175 so that's a big difference well it's not a big difference but it's kind of a big difference at the same time. So, again, Razor Wing, Lantern, Tribute, Spellblind, and yeah. Got the same pass, so got the same, all of that. So, that is that one. So, let's go check out the Pangolin. Do I have the. Hold up. Pangolin. Yeah. So, I already got that. Uh, it's all the way inside P. My bad, I'm looking for the Pangola. Alright, this is the Pangolin Prime. Right here. The total damage 248 for regular. Total damage is 1240 for the Pangolin Prime compared to the regular pangolin sword 150 right here and 750 right there all right uh where is it pangolin prime so let's see attack speed so attack speed is slow so i'd probably put berserker and that uh status so you could make this a critical 
a critical weapon or status weapon because that's what it looks like you could do you could probably put dual you could probably put all four dual stat mods and next will go all the way up to 100 and it'll be fine right there and kind of the same with critical chance like add more it probably would get up to 50 and same thing with critical damage um yeah range is pretty good 2.5 um so you could go either way with this weapon you could go with multiple builds with status or critical or do both uh oh yeah i forgot one more thing does it have a passive because weapons usually have a passive like what's it called where's the cyberus uh opqrs like the cyberus has the key like cyberus has a passive i don't know how to check passives all right it's so whatever though let's go check out the corinth prime this used to be my baby when uh i had the corinth it, i loved it it was so fun let's see critical uh where status nine so this is more of a critical weapon it's at 30 percent critical chance would rather do it more with the critical chance uh build and then total damage is 540 it's pretty good and right here 50 percent 50 percent um status chance this one is for the secondary weapon it's like a grenade launcher so if you shoot it it just blows up if you shoot it too close it won't blow up and right here is the radio attack in that area so i would really go with this area more and probably throw a little bit of this area probably like one or two mods of that area but a lot more of this area for the buckshot uh master rank 14 required i mean these guns look pretty solid i like the corinth prime the pangolin prime or the pangolin sword i was okay on but the pangolin prime looks way better like dang i glad it looks way better though um i guess that is it i wish i could do like a showcase of me like showing you guys what they look like i don't have the money and all that i'm broke i do it with all the free stuff um but that's just to show you guys the new the update that came out there's no other updates and stuff it's just titania prime that came out where we are waiting on Scarlet Spear to come out for us. Still, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, but yeah, that'll be it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.